Well, now for a more pleasant little video. Guess what? Yeah. So, I went to my local Walmart, and for once they actually had something different in their Magic the Gathering section, so I ended up getting it. It's a booster 3-pack plus a promo full card. It's been repackaged by, I think, MJ Holding, but I'm not sure. Because that's usually who does it, but Wizards might have done it. Either way, I figured out why the prices are higher at Walmart than Wizards suggested retail price. It's because they're, the distributor sets it up, the vendor, I mean, sets it up, and chooses the prices as well, which sounds stupid as hell to me, but okay. Whatever you say. So, there's Theros, or Theros. Ooh, Journey into Nyx. I wanted one of these, because I like the god-based ones, you know, mythology-wise, and, of course, a battle for Zendikar. But first, let's talk about the Fool, because the Fool is better. It's an outlined colossus. Um, it has renowned, renowned six when this creature deals combat damage to a player. If it isn't renowned, put six plus one plus one counters on it, and it becomes renowned. It can't be blocked by more than one creature, which means it can become a 12-12. What is not good about that? I mean, it's expensive, but, you know, you end up with a 12-12, if you're lucky. So, we're going to start with the Battle for Zendikar one. Just in case you forgot somehow. Um, don't have much to say about Battle for Zendikar, actually. Especially since I can't get it open. Excuse me. Well, I... Thank you. Thank you for cooperating with me. Little booster pack. Let's see. Calastria... Calastria? Healer. Um... Whenever... It has Rally. Whenever... Cal whenever this card or another ally enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life and you gain a life. Um, belligerent Whiptail. Landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, it gains first strike until end of turn. See, I'm trying to make sure I don't get too close to the camera because I want you to be able to see at least part of it. Which I might be failing horribly. But so be it. Angelic Gift. Enchant Creature. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card. Enchanted Creature has flying. Surprise. Something to do with angels has flying. I know, such a shock. Sandstone Bridge. It enters the battlefield tapped. And when it enters the battlefield, target creature gets plus one, plus one, gains vigilance until end of turn. And you can tap it to add a plane to your mana pool. Um, Tajuru Beastmaster. It has rally as well. Plus one, plus one creatures you control if it or another ally enters the battlefield. The next one's Demon's Grass. Target creature gets negative five, negative five until end of turn. Oops, oh, sorry. Probably a little bit too close. Next one is Skyline Cascade. It enters the battlefield tapped, and when it enters the battlefield, target creature and opponent controls does not attack untap during its controller's next untap phase, and you can add an island to your mana pool by tapping it. Obviously. It's a mana. Well, land. Whatever. Eldrazi Sky Spawner. The Void, flying, and when it enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 one, one colorless Eldrazi Scion? Sky? No, I can't say that word, in case y'all haven't noticed. Creature onto the battlefield token. Sorry. It has sacrifice this creature, add one generic to your mana pool. Because they added that thing. Can't remember if that's generic or mana or colorless anymore. Because they had to add one. Um, Ruin Processor. When you cast Ruin Processor, you may put a card an opponent owns from exile into that player's graveyard. If you do gain five life. 
I love gain life, okay? Because my vampire deck's like that. It gains life for me. Which is fun, considering vampires. Vampiric Rites. Uh, swamp in one, sacrifice a creature, you gain one life and draw a card. The next one is Ulamog's Reclaimer. Devoid. When Ulamog's Reclaimer enters the battlefield, you may put a card an opponent owns into exile from that player's graveyard. If you do, return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. I like that one more. The next one is Pilgrim's Eye. It has flying, and when it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a basic land card, shuffle it, well, I mean, re <laughs> reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your library. Eventually, I will get words out. Eventually. Might take a year or two. Um, planner Outburst. Destroy all non-land creatures. Awaken four. If you cast a spell for its awaken cost, put... Also put four plus one plus one counters on target land you control, and it becomes a zero zero elemental creature with haste. It is still a land. Kind of like that. It'd be pretty good at end game, you know, where you're like, they have four life or less because they just like screw you, and then I got a shiny land. But I do like the full art lands and the swamp. Not shiny, though. I don't know why I'm wiggling it like it's shiny. Next is the Theros one. Hopefully, if I can get it open. This will probably split out along two videos because my digital camera can only record for about 12 minutes before it cuts off. I do not understand why, but that's the way it rolls. So, Minotaur Skull Cleaver. Haste, and when it enters the battlefield, it gets plus two attack until end of turn. The next one is Nimbus Nyad. I think I'm saying that right. Don't quote me. It has Bestow. Um, if you cast this card for that cost, it's an aura spell with enchant creature. It becomes a creature again if it's not attached to a creature. I don't understand that. But it's flying, and enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two, and has flying. Uh, the next one is Battlewise Valor. Target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn, and it has scry one. The next one is Nessian Asp. It has reach, and it has pay of forest and six, monstrosity four. If this creature isn't monstrous, put f put four plus one plus one counters on it, and it becomes monstrous. Mon monstrous. Like I said, I'll English someday. Um, next one's a Crowian Crusader. It's heroic. Whenever you cast a spell that targets a crow, a cr yeah. put a 1-1 one, one red soldier creature token with haste onto the battlefield. As you can tell, my videos are more about the cards than me. Because I am horrible at doing this. Anyway, next one's Savage Surge. Target creature gets plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. Untap that creature. That's a weird one. Next one's Opaline Unicorn. Um, it's tap. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. The next one's Ray of Dissolution. Destroy target enchantment. You gain three life. Next card is Benthic Giant. Hexproof. And that's it. Uh, the next one's Voyaging Seder. Um, you tap it, and you can tap tar untap target land. Heliod's Emissary. It's Enchantment Creature Elk. Bestow, Plains, and Six. Uh, whenever Heliod's Emissary or Enchanted Creature attacks, tap target creature and opponent controls. Enchanted Creature gets plus three, plus three. Next one is Sea God's Revenge. Return up to three target creatures your opponent's control to their owner's hands. Scry one. Next is Flame Speaker Adept. Whenever you scry, Flame Speaker Adept gets plus two and gains first strike until end of turn. Next card is Nykthos, Shrine to Nyx. Uh, tap, add one colorless to your mana pool. 
Pay two colors, tap, choose a color. Add that add to your mana pool an amount of mana of that color equal to your devotion to that color. And there's an island, which I know you're gonna be so heartbroken. Wait, I'm not showing it to you. Now it's to journey to Nyx. I'm surprised I've gotten this far in one video. Consider I only have 12 minutes. So either I'm really going through this really fast and y'all are going to hate me. Or my digital camera loves me right now. I doubt it's the second one. Okay, first is Armament of Nyx. Enchant creature has double strike as long as it's an enchantment. Otherwise prevent all damage that would be dealt by enchanted creature. Next card is Font of Fertility. Pay a forest and a one. Sacrifice it. Search your library for a basic land card and put it into the battlefield tap. Then shuffle your library. Rotted Hulk. <laughs> well, there's not much to say about it. Here you go. Um, God Hunter Octopus. God Hunter Octopus can't attack unless defending player controls an enchantment or an enchanted permanent. Rouse the Mob. Strive. Rouse the Mob costs two and a mountain more to cast for each target beyond the first. Any number of target creatures can each get plus two attack and gain trample until end of turn. Cruel feeding strive. Cruel feeding costs swamp and two more to cast for each target beyond the first. Any number of target creatures each get plus one attack and gain lifelink until end of turn. Next is mortal obstin obstinacy. Enchant creature you control. Enchant, enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one. Whenever enchanted creature deals combat damage to a player, you may sacrifice this card. If you do, destroy target enchantment. S sigled? Sigled? I don't know. Starfish. Tap, scry one. Desecration plague. Destroy target enchantment or land. Starfall. Starfall deals 3 damage to target creature. If that creature is an enchantment, Starfall deals 3 damage to that creature's controller. That sounds like a fun card. Um, Spite of Mogus. Spite of Mogus deals damage to target creature equal to the number of instant and sorcery cards in your graveyard. Scry 1. Nessian Game Warden. When Nessian Game Warden enters the battlefield, look at the top X cards of your library where X is the number of forests you control. You may reveal a creature card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. 